back into Huddy we go. Wait. There we go. Nice. <laughs> oh no, it's this guy. Now this guy's fine. Better than a lot of the other other uh, other 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 older characters. Ah, oh, those clothes. You must be Ryuji's new hire. You're just cool with anything, aren't you, old man? Me? The name's Goro Matayoshi. You could say I'm an acquaintance of Ryuji and Chitose. I was in the area, so I stopped by to see how they're doing. Guess they're both out now. Yeah, they're out doing illegal things. Don't mind them. I see. Them's the breaks, I guess. I also came to say hi to little Erika, but I didn't bring her anything, so I'll just come back. Tell Ryuji and Matayoshi that I stopped by, will ya? Say, don't you get up... Wait a minute. Did you just say tell... Ry I think I read that sentence wrong. You said tell Ryuji that Matayoshi came by. I think I read it as tell Ryuji and Matayoshi that I came by. I don't know. I don't know. Say, don't you get up to any funny business, kid? One wrong move and I'll bust you, see? Just jerking your chain. I sounded like Date for a second there. Ha ha ha. Is he a detective or something? Why would you assume that he's a detective? I wonder how he knows Ryuji and the others. He is a detective, though. Good, good discernation, I guess. Let's turn this bad boy in. Mission success. Give me my yen. Man, I'm good. Hey, how'd your cases go? Ah, you finished two already. Wow, excellent job. Well then, would you accompany the little lady to Eden? Some of my malware is set up around Eden, but it's delicate and requires periodic maintenance. Neither Ryuji or I can go until we finish our report to Zaxxon. So I need you to go on patrol and check on the malware while you're at it. it seems easy enough. Huh? You think it'll be awkward after she just got ticked off at you? Don't worry, she's over it already. Go on now. This is an order from yours truly. He's saying the word senpai, I can recognize. I already told the little lady so she'll have logged in already. Meet her at the main entrance. Thanks in advance. So I'll ask the little lady for the deets. The deets. All this hip lingo that they're using in Digimon games nowadays. But yeah, apparently he is my senpai, so I must get him to notice me at all costs. Let's log into Eden. Sick. Shouldn't, uh... Yeah, Navid is here as well, so I can chat with Navid. Eden's main entrance, a public space used by most of Eden's users. I don't see Erica anywhere. She should have gotten here before me. I have an earpiece in or something? I can't get in touch with her. Looks like there's something wrong with my signal again. Rip. Maybe she's waiting somewhere else. I'd better look around for a bit. Let's talk to Mr. Navid. Unhappy girl. Easy. I know how all of that works. Mr. Navid, what's up? Hi, hi, I'm Mr. Navid, Eden's cute and clever mascot. You took a tissue flyer. Here's a gift for you. Sick. Sick again. I hope you enjoy Eden. You too, Mr. Navid. You too. All right, well, I guess I should talk to everyone, really. Since you can log in overseas, long-distance relationships aren't so long anymore. Time for an Eden date with my girlfriend. Woohoo. That is actually fantastic. You're a hacker, aren't you? I can tell by your appearance. Look, please just don't wreck, wreak, wreck any havoc. I don't know. I want to ask for a goggles-style Digivice for my next birthday, but there are so many kinds of even just the goggle, the goggle types. I can't read today. Yours looks pretty slick, but this one person I met before had a pair I can't rule out. Was his name Ty? Ah, uh, don't tell me she wants Digivice goggles for her birthday. I already reserved her a handheld one. You dummy. Why would you ever... Well, I mean, I guess that there could be a reason to want a handheld one instead of the goggles one. But, like, I would definitely go goggles over handheld. I heard Eden's full of floors where hackers all lurk together. The hackers build their own defenses, so even when Kamashiro tightens security, it still ends up as a game of cat and mouse. Ah, uh, is this how they have fun, trolling all us regular users? Welcome to the internet. You can use access points to jump to anywhere the connection is live. Okay, that's just, like, tutorial stuff. I'm off to the pavilion for some business dealings. Better make sure I've got the URL right. Yeah, dude. Students probably log on from manga cafes and roadside Eden terminals, right? Pretty trusting, leaving your body in open spots like that. If you log on from the premium saloons in Rapunji, you get a real sense of security. I can only imagine how many people take advantage of other people, like, logging in in public spaces. It sounds hilarious. There's some weird thing in here. Could it be a program the hackers used? Ah, I better keep my distance. 
I just log on to Eden from home and work at my computer's virtual HQ. I'm the very model of a modern paid professional. Good for you, dude. I'm off to the bank, then the post office, then the cinema. Eden has made things so convenient. Unhappy girl, though. A girl? I don't know. I haven't got time for this. That's fair, honestly. We all have important stuff to do. I just got a job in Eden. Today's my first day. I'm really nervous. Here you go. You're looking for a friend. I haven't seen anyone around here. Have you tried another area? All right, cool. Free area. So I don't need to talk to these other nerds, but I will anyway. You know, when we were kids, I would never have imagined that this is what the internet would look like someday. Yeah, I like it too, kiddo. Closest thing I know to flying. Eden systems sure are revolutionary. Let's go to the next area. That feeling when you jump between them is the coolest. Indeed. There's a Poyomon back there. I'm meeting my friends here, but you know, I wonder every time we hang out like this, are these people I see really my friends? If a hacker takes your account, they get your avatar. How would you even know? Maybe we should set up a password. This entrance is the perfect ground of you spot, but none of my friends have shown up. Maybe they got the place wrong? I don't know. Hey, what's up, Poyomon? What are you doing? I can't talk to you? Alright, well, good chat, Poyomon. I hope you continue to enjoy your life. Keep doing you, buddy. Keep doing you. Let's get on over to the free area. Where, oh, where has that girl gone? Oh, okay, this is where we fought Kentoros Mon in the first game. I remember this. You know, Kowloon was actually the first place that got made when Eden was founded. When they started gradually expanding the areas outward, and what got made was this entrance. And then, of course, Kowloon was completely neglected and became a playground for hackers. Makes sense. She's got to be on the intersection. I think I might have seen her right there. Ah, oh, never mind. Cutscene. I don't see Erica anywhere. What in the world? Oh. Mysterious presence. Oh, it's her. <laughs> How long have I been here? Uh, since you logged into Eden? I didn't know when to catch your attention. That literally, as soon as I arrived, probably was the best possible moment. This is a good chat. Well, uh, let's go check them out where Chitosi talked about. Let's do it. Let me just ask. You know what malware is, don't you? Sure. My poor head. You really did use one without knowing what it was. I hate that face so much. Malware is a special virus program made by executing a process on Digimon programs. That kind of programming has always been Chitose's forte. Area surveillance, scanners, logs of users passing through, etc, etc. These little guys are installed all around Eden, each with their own special skills. My brother thought up this method since waiting for a case to come in before gathering info already puts us behind schedule. If these malware show the slightest abnormality, they'll be caught by security, so maintenance is absolutely necessary. I'm not saying Chitose's programming is shot or shabby, shabby or anything. It's just that Eden's admin team is comprised of the best engineers, plus there are brilliant hackers in other teams like Zaxxon. There's even that unidentified hacker, Mr. Navit, around, so we've got to be careful, okay? Sure. Stop making that face. Did you hear anything I just said? I'm whistling. Huh? I look happy when I talk about programs. Well, sure. It's fun. I like programs. The digital world. Eden. In this world, I'm... I'm free. And you? Do you like Eden? Uh, yeah, you know, I like it. Yeah. All right, let's get started. Sure, let's do it. I do like that the whole team has these uh, blue jackets and we all wear them in different ways. That's pretty cool. Kamashiro are a bunch of worthless elitists. Their accounts are locked up tight, so whatever complaints we peons make, they just ignore. I wish the hacker would steal their accounts. Well, it sounds like it'd be very difficult to pull that off. Hello, Papumon Metal. What is Pafumon? I don't recognize that name. It's probably something that's in training, because the in training ones are the ones I recognize the least. I'm much better at recognizing Rookie through Mega. And the few beyond Megas that there are. Where am I going to check these things, by the way? Oh, the, we're checking the Poyomon. Easy enough. What's up, Poyomon? Okay. 
Okay, it's moving properly. What, you ask? This kid, of course. I told you we modded Digimon, right? This guy is Spider Wasp. The malware installed here. I just realized! My boy Pete! We're not we're probably not gonna see him in this game. No, I miss Pete already. It monitors users that pass through. Small Digimon like this one are quite versatile and can be made into good malware. Large Digimon boast tremendous strength and processing power, but they're easy to spot and not great as malware. Yeah, you know, that makes sense. All Digimon have their uses and whatnot. Anyway, back to work. Moving on, you brought a Digimon with you, right? Never leave home without my Tentamon. Good, because I didn't. That means you're on escort duty. Why would you not bring a Digimon? Also, look at how horribly the arms of your jacket are tied. It doesn't look like they should stay like that at all. What? You think it's strange to hack without any Digimon? Yeah, I was actually told that it would be stupid to not use Digimon. For me, it's stranger to rely blindly on Digimon or Digimon Capture without knowing who made them. I mean, we don't even know how they're put together, do we? But they're so awesome. And some of them are even adorable. I like making my own programs. Some people make fun of the elderly, but back in the day, all hackers did it like this. Until Digimon were discovered and Digimon Capture became popular. Now Digimon battles are all the rage, so Chitose and my brother have their own Digimon, but those two are even more amazing. Sure. Makes sense, I guess. Me? Join the Digimon battles? No need. Fighting is my brother's job. Now it's yours, too. He said you're the team's new whack. What does that mean? Guess that means I might not make it back. Guess that makes me the me- Oh, so I'm the meat shield. At any rate, I just wanted to tell you what your job is. If you get it, then hurry and come along. Yeah, sure. The second place infected by malware is the Eden community area. I'll head over there. Cool. So I just need to find another in-training Digimon in the community area. Seems simple enough. We're still kind of going through the motions of the early game here, but that's fine. I imagine we'll start to really get rolling before too much longer, after the first couple of sessions are out of the way. Good old community area. Where is my Tentomon, actually? Why is it not following me? Is it supposed to follow? Oh, it's probably because I'm in the... It would be bad for people to see me with a Digimon in these open areas, I guess. That makes sense. Have you heard about any weird phenomena around here? My friend says she's seen reality act like cyberspace and buildings get devoured and stuff. I have no idea what she's talking about. I wonder if she's okay. The D-Reaper! It's attacking. Hey, cool threads. Are they for a team or something? Yeah, totally. I thought I'd seen the Pale Ghost Boy, but it turned out to be the Pale Ghost Girl. Like, what is even going on? This is cyberspace. Are people seeing Yugo's ghost and mistaking it for female? You shouldn't fritter away all your time in Eden. If you don't use your real-life body, your muscles will all shrivel up. I'm gonna be real with you. I would spend, like, ten hours in the real world. I take that back, because I was gonna say eight for sleeping. I'd spend, like, six hours sleeping. Eight hours in the real world, six for sleeping, and then two for, like, eating and minimal activity, and then all to make sure that my body doesn't just become, like, complete trash. And then I would spend all the rest of my time in Eden, to be real with you. Oh, it's, uh... Oh, what's your name? What's your name? Bodemon. There's a weird error in this malware. This malware is Scorpion Wasp. It surveys this area. It surveys this entire area, actually. It seems to have sent something undetectable. The analyzer can't determine it, causing an error. Oh, I bet it picked up the protagonist from the first game, Solo. I'm going to refer to him as Solo because that's what I named him in the first game. Go gather some information around here. I want to know what it is this guy saw. If something strange appeared, one of the users around here should have seen something. I bet he saw the protagonist from the first game. And it, uh... The protagonist's weird virtual body, like, freaked out the malware. I hear there's some kind of hidden room in Kowloon and people just suddenly go missing, like some kind of Eden Triangle or something. Maybe it dis I've disappeared, been speared away into some other dimension. Ha, huh, fun thought. You're asking me if anything weird's been going on around here. Well, there's always something happening in Kowloon. Kowloon, however you say it. 
My friend says she met the purple-maned witch of cyberspace in Kowloon and got her fortune told. I'm sure it's all fake, but if there were someone like that out there, I'd like to meet them. I hear those readings are pretty spot on. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Just you left, huh? I heard someone in Kowloon has seen a cat that's not supposed to exist in cyberspace. Is it true Kamashiro was experimenting on animals in cyberspace? Or do you think that maybe it was just a Digimon someone mistook for an animal? I don't know. The unexpected cat, the hidden room in cyberspace, the purple main cyber witch. Those are a lot of words. There's some, there are other strange occult stories going around, but each of these three were spotted in Kowloon. Okay, let's go check it out. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm interested to see what this phenomenon really is. Uh, not that I believe in the occult. How could something like that exist in cyberspace? The cat must be an avatar some hacker modded as a prank. The hidden room is just a back door connected to another area that can't be seen on the surface. And the cyber witch is just a pretty girl who enjoys fortune tell fortunate telling. Still, we have to determine the underlying cause. I initialize the malware here, but the same error may reoccur if the same phenomenon returns. Alright, let's go take care of it then. To Kowloon we go. Time to get some Digimon battles going. What I really want is to unlock the lab. So that we could, uh... Look at Tentomon's Digivolution requirements and whatnot. There is the cat. Purple-haired, fortune-telling witch. Unexpected cat. Hidden room. It's Murray. It's Murray, and she's taking me to the Digilab. This is the rumored spot. I don't see any signs of hacking here. What about, what about that cat right there? Look at it. It's so cute. Look at its eyes. Even the cat's eyes are more normal than my eyes. No way. A cat. There really is a cat here. It's almost like we're in a universe where you can program in shapes such as the shape of a cat. It's getting away. After it. Tentamon, go shock that cat. Stab it with your pincer things. We have to stop it from escaping at all costs. Huh? There was a cat here just now. Where is it gone? There are lots of places to hide here. I'll take a look around. Let's find this cat. Right here. It's not under the tire. It looks like the cat isn't here. My nose is itching like crazy. There we go. That's better. What about right here? I should be able to hear the cat if it's here, but there's no sound and no sign of it. What if the cat is silent? Did you ever consider that? There's no sign of the cat near the block. Rip. I can't find it anywhere. Where could it have gone? I wonder. Deeper in? Ah, over there! Cat! Get it, Tentamon. Get it. Ah, it's the black cat. Now watch, that one's gonna go behind the tire, and then suddenly Mastamon is gonna come out. We're not good at this whole catching cats thing. Look at how slow it's moving. How, how are we not catching this? Alright, then. We'll just continue on. It disappeared. There's a link to some other place. Is this the hidden room in cyberspace? One second, I'll establish the link. This, this is weird. Impossible, even. A single server shouldn't be able to handle such a vast amount of processing. It's gotta be Murray. Murray, Murai, however you say her name. Logs and traces are encrypted in real time, and it repels normal access. In that case... I got it. Okay, go on in. Yeah, I'll just do that. Access granted, user rogue, starting transmission. Ah, yep, we're here. I knew it. Is this a new area of Eden? I can't reach Erica. Way to go, Erica. How puzzling. Did someone guide you to this place? God, whoever could have guessed. Was it your fate? Be, spect be spectacled beauty. Oh, uh, that's good. I like that. An offshoot of the other one's fate. Or perhaps. You don't need to answer. You're already being guided. It must be of some importance. In any case, you have arrived at this place. I welcome you to the Digilab. 
All right, who are you? I am Murray Mikagura. Sure. Think of me as the administrator of this place. From here, I've watched over the crossroads of fate, but I didn't expect another fork to appear. I have to admit, even I'm surprised. All right, the Digilab. The Digital Monster Laboratory. Digilab for short. This place has a faint connection with the digital world, a paradise for Digimon. As of yet, there is no need to teach you of the digital world. You will learn what you must when the time is right. Well, let's leave it at that. For now, allow me to explain what kind of place this is once more. Is this tutorial stuff? I will just skip it if I need to. Oh, don't worry, just an inside joke. Haha. <laughs> she just got done explaining this to the other protagonist. I'm guessing. Ah, good. It's set up like an actual tutorial thing, so I'll just go through it. Nice. The Digilab has various facilities to help your Digimon. Check all the terminals in the room. I'll explain everything. All right, well, this is the one that refreshes our health and whatnot. No need to recover. This is the Digi Farm. Very nice. This is the bank. Let me look at my boy Tentamon. What do you need to Digivolve? We have plenty of options to go through here. Okay. 